can you all hear me? Fabulous. Excellent. Okay, I'm just going to give it another uh, few seconds just to see if anybody else would want to join us. Um, uh, yeah, so great to see some, some familiar faces popping up to say hello. This is my first webinar. Can you believe it? It's August. No, September. And I've got out of doing that. Um, and it is live. So no pressure. No pressure. Um, Helen, you've got no sound, but you're the only person that doesn't. So maybe it's your end, um, not my end. So <clears throat> yes. Alrighty. Right. Well, let's get cracking then. So um, I'm going to be telling you all about Crystal Cruises um, in the next 15, 20 minutes. So we're going to start with um, our 2022. Um, yeah, I know, quite a long way away. But would you believe uh, last week in the booking reports, we already started to seeing quite a large demand for this. As you know, um, a lot of our customers, especially our regulars, they like to book early. So we have our 21 grand job voyages. Now these are really, really great value. Um, you can uh, find these on our website, um, Grand uh, Journeys and Grand Voyages, and they are back-to-back -back, um, offerings. So they, like I said, they offer really, really great value. And then of course we have our world cruise on Crystal Serenity, which as you know, is very, very popular. So we start in Miami or you can start in LA. We head to Monte Carlo via New Zealand, Southern Asia, uh, sorry, Southern Australia, Sydney, Perth, Indonesia, si uh, Singapore, Sri Lanka, yay for the return to Sri Lanka, India, the Suez, and then into the ever popular Med. We are returning back to Istanbul, which I'm so pleased about. That's where I started my first ever cruise, um, and then into the Black Sea. We've seen quite a few bookings for this already. And then of course the Holy Lands are also really popular. Then Serenity will spend summer in Alaska. So we've got this summer in Alaska. Um, and then um, we also have um, Symphony will be, uh, sorry, we'll be back there in 2022. Sorry, the, Dorothy, we, I think most people have sound, so it must be from your end if you're not hearing me. Um, so yeah, we will send the recording afterwards so that anybody who's having um, audio problems can, can have it. Uh, Symphony will be in the Med and the Baltics, which is obviously popular for us Brits in 2022. And then we've got a really nice little Christmas and New Year cruise in the Indian Ocean. And this includes um, a one night um, overland to the Taj Mahal because you can't really go all the way to India and not go and see the Taj Mahal. So um, Serenity, as always, spends Christmas in the Caribbean. Can you believe it is only a year until the launch of Endeavour? So she will be launching after the uh, the Olympics in Japan, from Japan and going up into our inaugural cruise. I'm already sold out into the Russian Far East. Now, for anybody who knows me, then this is one of my favorite products. I absolutely love Expedition. To me, you know, it's just all about going off to the far fun corners of the world, um, seeing places that you would never get the opportunity to see. And don't be fooled into thinking the polar regions is always just about the, the cooler climates. Um, sorry, Expedition is always all about the polar regions. You know, it is a lot, that is a lot of it, but there's some amazing destinations in between. And, you know, let me draw your attention to Japan. This was our fastest selling cruise for 2020. It was so popular, we we're repeating it twice in 2021. Um, going back to 2020, I mean, a lot of it is already sold out. Um, we've got the Japanese um, tropical islands, um, and then we head down into Borneo. I think we've got maybe a, had a few cancellations, so a little bit of space for that. Then we head down into Indonesia, down into Australia, the Whitsunday Islands, the Barrier Reef. We've got some lovely little New Zealand immersive cruises. It seems that people really want to do an immersive cruise. You know, they want to spend the full 14 nights in New Zealand. They don't want to part, do it as part of a world cruise. And of course, as you know, everything is included, or you might not, but everything is included on the Endeavour. 
all your um, expeditions, um, all your shore excursions. The only things that aren't included, if you want to be a little bit snazzy, then you can go on our submersibles and then you can also go on to our helicopters. So they are an optional choice. Um, now, if anybody customers have um, customers that love Antarctica, did you know that we can go down to Antarctica for the Ross Sea? So from Australia and New Zealand, we're one of the only companies in the world offering this. It's on true luxury on Crystal Endeavour. Um, so they'll be eating Nobu whilst they're, they're watching the, um, the icebergs and the, and the ice shelf go by of the Ross Sea ice shelf. Um, the price is reflected. It's already nearly sold out. So all the leading uh, suites have now sold. So it's 27 grand. Um, but it is really, really popular popular um, and like I said for customers that have already been to Antarctica this is Antarctica on steroids you get to go and step into Scott and Shackleton's huts how many people in the world can say that they've done this um, now if your customer has never been to Antarctica and actually they want to do Antarctica from the normal route from Ashwai then in 2021 we will be offering that and that leads in at £12,000 or just over £12,000 so it's far more reflective of, of a price that you would expect and, and like I said that's really good value um, when you think of everything that's included. Um, other really popular cruises the Russian Far East, the Aleutian Islands and then we leave from there of course to our North east passage cruise you know a couple of years ago we sold our northwest passage cruise out in two months it's the same for the northeast passage we've just got four staterooms left on um or suites left sorry it's all suites on crystal endeavor all butlers so really really popular some other cruises just to bring to your attention do go online and have a look on the website um the sub antarctic islands if you've got customers that love the galapagos they're going to love the sub antarctic islands um, so yeah, so I'm going to move on now because I could talk about Endeavour all day long. Um, so let's chat about um, the latest offers and promotions. So I'm really, really pleased to say that um, our consumer offer of um, up to $3,000 on board stateroom credit for our Serenity remainder of what's left for the MED for this year has been continued um, till the end of October, uh, or certainly, sorry, to the end of September. Um, and yeah, one thing, um, this is really good because I know we've got our flex fares that I'm going to talk about in a minute, our guarantees. But if you've got customers that like a veranda or a balcony, um, this is where they can really, you know, make the savings and get the $3,000 um, per stateroom on board credit. Now, what can you spend that on? Because obviously on Crystal, it's all inclusive, but on our ocean, it's the only product we don't offer shore excursions. Trust me, $3,000, we could create some really beautiful, exclusive excursions just for your clients. They're also going to come off feeling totally zen um, because of the amount of spa treatments they've had. Um, hey, maybe a little bit of Botox, I could do with some of that. Um, and of course, lots of shopping. Now, if um, on that 23rd of October, we've recognized that it's October half term. So what we've done is we've split it into two cruises, a little five night cruise and a little eight night cruise, um, because we know that throughout the UK, half term is different for depending on which, ca which county you are. Now, admittedly, I checked availability this morning and I think all those leading windows have gone, but for just over £2,000, um, you can go with us for a balcony and receive $800 on board credit, which will cover a family's, um, all their shore excursions. So. You know, families isn't something we shout about with Crystal, um, but because we're the only mid-sized ship in the ultra luxury category, we have an awful lot of space. So we are really, really able to cater for families for the luxury discerning market. Um, you know, there's no zip wires, um, but we have a really good kids club. We have a babysitting service from six months old. And like I said, when it's school holidays, the kids club will be open. So if you would like more information or maybe Meg's a, um, download um, or attach the family memories program um, that we can do and all about the kids club and, and what we can offer. So so moving on to our other special offers, um, we have our 30th anniversary. Um, can you believe 30 next year? So we've chosen 30 cruises and um, 
as you know, all our Crystal Society customers, as soon as you become a part of the family, the Crystal family, you start saving. But for these cruises, you will get double savings. And we're not going to leave out new to Crystal customers. We're going to give them an additional 2%. And also, of course, if you book um, and pay your balance early, you get an additional 2.5%. So customers for next year on these select anniversary cruises can save up to nearly 5%. Now, all our book new now savings have, have just started again and they will finish at the end of October. Because we've just had all our book now savings finish at the end of August, um, there was a little bit of a delay um, in getting those offers from Crystal in the US due to um, lovely Hurricane Doreen. So she caused a bit of um, commotion for us in our Miami office. So we haven't got the um, all the offers loaded, but we will of course follow up with you all and send you all the offers on, on the emails. Crystal Flex Fairs, these are the gift that just keep on giving. Um, anybody who has, hasn't cottoned on to these already, um, there are still some available. It's mainly based on for the remainder of 2019 voyages. When you go into our website, always make sure you go into .co.uk and then up on the top in the left hand corner, is the special offers. You click on those special offers, and scroll down and you will see the flex fares. You keep loading them and they will bring them all up. Um, these are for those customers that like a bargain. You all know you've got one or two of those customers. They don't mind traveling late. Um, so a guarantee is they don't know what room category, well, you know what room category you're going to have, but you don't know where that's going to be placed in the ship. Um, and it's not always just for verandas and windows. Sometimes you see a sneaky little penthouse in there as well. So whenever you get a customer looking for a deal for this year, go on and check Crystal's Flex Fairs. Under those special offers, you'll also see Kids Sell Free and you'll also um, see Getaways. We've got some really good getaways. We've got quite a few for Asia next year, leading in at just over a thousand, but I've highlighted uh, the 1,600 pound um, cruises for six nights because I noticed on the booking reports, they're proving to be really popular, a little sneaky break in the med next spring. And also we've got one for the Grand Prix, which I'm gonna chat to you about in a minute. September, September already. How has this happened? But um, Elaine has been working hard on our little crystal direct mailer um, and uh, she's just attached a little proof there. Thanks, Megs. And um, yeah, and this is going to be mainly um, focusing on 2020 and it will be coming to going to print at the end of this month, ready to go out. It needs to be going out because all the book now savings end at the end of October. If you would like some copies, let us know. And we don't expect you to order 500. Of course, if you want to, you can. But if you just want 10 or 20, that is also fine. So just let us, um, let Elaine know or let sales know at the cruise portfolio. And along with the latest Delete DM, we have an awful lot of brochures available as well. Um, so we're keeping Tradegate nice and busy. I'm really, really pleased Crystal listened to their customers and decided to introduce the World Atlas for 2020, which has kind of taken over the Voyage Planner. So if you miss the Atlas, it is available. It's kind of been overshadowed by the 2021 Atlas. Um, and uh, we've also hot off the press is the new Crystalis Spree, which now features the Seychelles, which is really popular. Crystal Endeavor. 21 is is soon to be here, but in the meantime, we've got some amazing little inserts that we can send you from the office. River 20 just launched um, at, at BB Reggae and also just launched is it the 2022 World Cruise. So if you want any of these, you can order them via Tradegate or you can email sales at cruiseportfolio.co.uk and we will send them to you. So upcoming events. Um, so the lovely John will be hosting the next webinar, our lovely John in the North, um, on the first Thursday of every month. We've also got Belfast, it's not too late to register for the 19th. And any of my lovely friends in the Channel Islands, um, if you haven't registered, make sure you do. Two lovely hotels that we're hosting um, agent events there. Um, so we'll be talking all about our new products as well as what's up, to, what's new going on with our ocean and our river. Um, then we're in Edinburgh, Glasgow, and we're also in London. 
awards who doesn't love winning an awards did you know actually that crystal have won more awards than any other cruise line in the world so we're hoping we're going to continue with that legacy so please please vote for us um one that we'd really really appreciate you to vote for us is the selling travel awards um we've finally been recognized for best river cruise for short haul anybody who's seen our river cruise um ships um lucky enough um i think you will agree it really they really are quite beautiful and we're going to be in clear this year um in amsterdam so if you're registered for clear or if you haven't registered and you fancy seeing the crystal i think it's a crystal bark but i'm not quite sure but it's one of our new ships then um, do register for crystal clear so late availability, well, we talked about those flex fares um, and those guarantees. So we've highlighted the 23rd of October and we've got a veranda guarantee leading in at just over 4,000 for a 13 night cruise, um, which is a great price for a veranda. And that still comes with the $1,000 onboard spend per person. So $2,000 onboard spend and just over 4,000 pounds for a 14 night holiday or 13 nights um, to the Med. This little beauty has been so popular. I mean, Costa Rica and the Panama. I mean, this, we shouldn't really have availability for October because the Panama and Costa Rica usually sell really fast. But, you know, as always with Crystal, we do get cancellations, especially when it comes up to like 100 days before. So it's always worth checking. And um, this has been, like I said, it's been so popular. Um, just over 4,000, just under 4,500 for 14 nights. And it ends in New Orleans. So uh, you can see why this has been a really popular cruise. We couldn't leave River out and we've chosen a Moselle cruise because our lovely little Elaine has just been on um, a Moselle cruise and I have to say it looks fantastic and ta-da! It's, it's like we've done this before. It's the um, it's the Crystal Moselle blog um, that, she, that she's done. So um, if you fancy reading it, I mean, I think the Moselle totally gets left out. It's always the Danube and the Rhine that that that, um, that everyone wants to do. But this is, if you dream of cruising along a little meandering river with castles in the backdrop, then this is definitely a cruise for you. Some really good book now savings if you book before the 31st of October. So our top picks for next year, well, we've chosen that Grand Prix cruise. We've only got about 170 rooms left on this um, and it's selling really, really well because of course the Grand Prix is currently on our TVs at the moment. So it's a really good time for you to be advertising this. Um, so the C3s are sold out. So we're advertising C2s now. Um, so a large picture window. There are balconies available as well. And as I mentioned, if your customer is just fanatical about the Grand Prix and just wants to do a four night getaway, then we've got one of those leading in at just over 1400 pounds. Personally, I'd wanna do the whole nine nights on Crystal and, and make a holiday of it. But you know, if they want, if they're you know obsessed with the Grand Prix, then like I said, they can just do a four night. Now, if the room that they want isn't available for 2020, don't worry, we're there for 2021. And also I noticed there are quite a few bookings that come through for uh, 2022. So it's definitely making an impact um, being on the TV at the moment. Tulips and Windmill, we chose this because again, really, really popular. I think you can see that from the price point. You know, it's just over £4,000 for seven nights. I've never been, I've never done tulips. And I host quite a few ship visits in Amsterdam in the spring. So I'm going to make sure I go next year and check it out because it's supposed to be absolutely beautiful. Of course, this is on one of our new ships. We're only going to have all new river ships next year. So all our lead ins will be a balcony. We'll have no window rooms or no rooms on the water line. So make sure you remember that when you're quoting a Crystal River cruise. Oh, my little favorite, Esprit. I've not even mentioned it yet. Um, 62 customers, 93 crew. What is not to love about this? Getting into all the tiny ports that big ships can't get into. We know she's popular for the Adriatic. Venice, Dubrovnik, we could sell that out all day long. But this is a really nice little cruise going through the Corinth Canal um, into Montenegro and then um, into Dubrovnik. So the Greek islands, I, I, I love the Greek islands as well. Great way of experiencing them on the yacht using um, all the kayaks and the jet skis and going off on the tenders. So remember the yacht, because it's only 62 clients, it is double the cost of, of our ocean cruise. 
But if you're looking for something really special and you've got customers that like a boutique hotel experience, then it's gorgeous. And if you want to email me directly, I'll happily or call me, chew your ear off all day off about Esprit. Like I said, she is my favorite. She might be surpassed by her big sister, Endeavor, who's launching next year. Um, this is one of the cruises that does still have availability. Um, and to me, like I said, this is what really expedition cruising is all about. But don't forget, it's all balconies, it's all suites, it's all butlers, 303 square foot. All your excursions are included. So when you look at that price point, make sure you're looking at that. And like I said, this is taking you to places that you can't reach. I defy any ground handler to take you to all these these um, these places in you know under three weeks. It's just it's impossible. I mean, if you Google Raja Amp Amput, um, it's made up of fifteen hundred different coral islands. So to be able to go off and explore this on Crystal Endeavour is just truly beautiful. And then we we also get to see the Komodo Islands, and then also um, we end up in Cairns and Great Barrier Reef. So our September incentive, everybody loves a little bit of shopping, don't we? So I'm pleased to say that if you book any 2019 cruise, so on our river, yacht and ocean, including those stupidly priced flex fares, then you will earn £200 in lifestyle vouchers. If you end up booking one of those getaways, so one of those family cruises, for example, then you will still earn £100. So you can earn whilst booking Crystal and you know your customers are going to have an amazing time as well. So, um, yeah, that's it from me. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, any questions? I don't think I've got any questions. So... Okay, great. Well, listen, everyone, have a great day, everybody. Have a great weekend. And um, yeah, see you soon, hopefully. Bye.